Today in Iraq, bomb attacks hit Baghdad, killing dozens and wounding nearly 200. The violence is the worst since the U.S. formally marked the end to its combat role in the country and comes amid a political crisis in the top levels of government. Vice President Tariq al-Hashimi has been accused of ordering the deaths of political opponents, a charge he denies. And Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki said Wednesday that he could back away from a fragile power-sharing deal that has been in place over the past year. For more, we go to Baghdad to speak with a former Iraqi journalist. He's requested that we do not include his name to protect his safety. Welcome to FSRN. Hi there. The attacks today are the deadliest since the U.S. marked an official end to its military role. What is the climate like on the streets in Baghdad? Well, I mean, people are generally worried. Uh, more than the bombings today, and they're worried about the future. Uh, they see that a possible sectarian war, uh, civil war may go on again. Of course, people were, you know, trying to get home quickly today, and uh, this caused traffic jam, especially with the uh, increased security measures at checkpoints. So people are worried, but more than the explosions themselves, it's the future. We'll talk for a moment about those increased security checkpoints or other measures that have been taken. How how does that affect daily life there, and what is it like? Well, I mean, first of all, we uh, try to enter uh, a neighborhood of our friends, and uh, we had to wait for a long line just to get there. In other days, it takes like five or ten minutes. I live in a somewhat unstable neighborhood, and two days ago in the morning when I was uh, going out to work, I noticed that uh, there was an army lorry uh, uh, on the street uh, with uh, uh, five soldiers on duty. And they had not been there before? Is that a new a new presence? Uh, yes, it's new, and uh, uh, it wasn't uh, sunrise yet. And uh, I also saw two big uh, police uh, uh, pickups pass by. Also, I think I didn't see in the mornings. You mentioned how uh, people are very concerned about the future. There's an arrest uh, out now for Vice President Tariq al-Hashimi. Um, he's now sheltered in northern Iraq, semi-autonomous Kurdish region. How does this affect the leadership in the central government and people's view of the leadership moving forward? Well, the Iraqi people are very divided about this particular issue. Uh, they are divided about uh, uh, the truth about uh, uh, accusing the vice president. The Sunnis in general tend to disbelieve it and uh, would uh, produce evidences that it's not true. While the Shis are, you know, commenting uh, if uh, it is as high as uh, that corrupt uh, partnership is not a possible thing to do in Iraq. Vice President Tariq al-Hashimi has told Al Jazeera that he will not return to Baghdad to face trial for these charges, but um, is willing to face trial in uh, the Kurdish region in the north. The question is, why these charges and, and why now? Well, the thing is, if these accusations were true or not, I don't think the whole issue is just a criminal injustice. I think it's more of a political conflict. Uh, personally, I believe that a good number of Iraqi politicians were involved in violence and had followers who committed murders. Uh, so why, in particular now, why the vice president and why in this particular time? The reason, I think, is political conflict and political elimination. Uh, the U.S. Uh, forces are out and... Uh, there is a deep mistrust between uh, the Sunni side and the Shi'i side, and uh, the game is whoever takes control first. So I think this is why all these issues raised in the surface now, uh, no matter whether they're true or not.
Well, in discussing the future, uh, the U.S. has just marked the end of its military role, its official end of its military role, but its uh, presence will continue well into the future. According to the New York Times, the U.S. is overseeing military sales to Iraq that amount to $10 billion in weapons contracts, $3 billion coming directly from the U.S. There's the role of the State Department and contractors within Iraq in the future. Uh, with this latest events from this week, um, how are people viewing the U.S. role moving forward? Well, I mean, first of all, you hear people talking about uh, sort of conspiracy theory that despite the U.S. are out of the country, they're still in much in control of the politics here and uh, will flip it any way they want. Uh, actually, I had some people accusing the uh, U.S. today that uh, these bombings and this critical crisis are all the part of their uh, play on the theater. Again, more than a dozen bomb attacks in Baghdad today. Also, questions over political leadership moving forward. We've been speaking with a former Iraqi journalist in Baghdad. He asked us not to use his name due to safety reasons. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, sir.